Yuri Charles of River Sally St. Patrick is amongst the lucky five who survived the February 7th boating incident that has left two dead and four others still unaccounted for. His body is now riddled with scars. He tells a tale of being adrift for more than 15 hours in rough waters, clinging to a gas bottle for dear life. Well, it's just the people, myself and the creator, you know. When I think of all the people like how me and everybody move together, it's like I cannot give up like that, you understand? And the creator and myself, I just cannot, I just cannot go down like that because, I mean, I was on a gas battle where I was safely, safely sung and I just decided not to let go. Like, anywhere the tide take me, I'm just, I'm just going, you understand? That had happened about, like, after seven, minutes to seven. And when I was getting rescued, it was about, like, after ten the next day. So it's like about like 16 to 17 hours on the sea all night. Charles says despite not seeing any signs of help coming to his rescue, he remained determined to live. He said he eventually got rescued by yachtsmen heading to Kariku. The tide was really pulling, yeah? and like how the boat gone down, mm -hmm. it's like, in special like three to five minutes, everybody was separated, because the tide was very bad. Thoughts and respond to the police wasn't, because honestly I was in the water whole night thinking that no one didn't get no information about what was going on. Because sitting on the water whole night, I didn't see no boat, no light, no one doing any search or anything like that. Because for me honestly, like if that yeah didn't pick me up, maybe I'll not have been in the water still still going away. Yeah, thanks for the yacht and them that saved me in the morning. This ordeal has taught him to never take life for granted. He remains saddened that some of his comrades are still missing. Joseph McKee Smith, GBN News.